Schmitty, and I'm ready for some quiplash. I'm just going to assume you're all wearing your quipping pants. Okay, let's play. This is round one. Two prompts will appear on your device, which you can answer in any clever or not clever way you want. Everyone will choose between your answer and someone else's, and decide who wins. You get points based on the percentage of people who like your answer, and a bonus if you get more votes than your opponent. Go! Hit the safety quick button if you can't think of something. Okay, moment of truth. First one. What's the boogeyman's part-time job? Okay, pick your favorite and vote. The name of an animated movie that stars a surfing cow. Get to voting! Okay, next one. More money, more blank. Vote on your devices. Coming up next, the most embarrassing Google search this player has entered. It's voting time! hidden on the one dollar bill. Vote now! That's it. Let's see the scores for round one. Time for round
round two, where everything is worth two times as much as that silly round one. Running out, think fast or use a safety quip. Let's see those quips. First off, a get well card for someone injured by a robot. Okay, pick your favorite. on the list. Remember, when buying a new home, always make sure the previous owner didn't blank. Ready, set, vote! your raisins do for work now. Okay, vote. Next in line, how do you seduce a bear? Time to vote. Moving on, when on the subway, it's polite to get up your seat to blink and vote. Round two is over. Let's see who came out on top. <laughs> Round three has arrived. The last lash. You're all going to answer the same prompt, so pull out all the stops. Fill in this comment.
Let's see the responses. You get three medals to award to your top three quips. Give out your gold, silver, and bronze medals now. Let's see where those medals went. First, the bronze. Here's the silver. And the gold. Let's melt those medals down for points. That's the end. Let's see the final scoreboard. Ready here, please stay seated until the game comes to a complete stop. Why, that's enough for a decent rodeo. This is round one. You score based on the percentage of players who like your answer. Plus, there are winner's bonuses at stake. Go! These better be good. Up first, some shower heads have settings like massage and pulse, but never, ever set your shower head to blank. Okay, everyone, vote for your favorite. Moving on, an awkward thing to say to the naked guy next to you on the bus. Vote away. is how old tiny sailors pass the time on long voyages. Put in your votes. Next up, the Wright brothers' first words after flying for the first time. And vote. Next on deck, a lion.
playing in the Canadian National Anthem, probably. Ready, set, vote! Round one is behind us. Let's see how you scored. <laughs> round two is upon us, and all points are doubled. Take that, round one. Use a safety clip if you can't think of anything. Let's see how you did. First up, what New York City did with King Kong's body. Okay, choose your favorite. Next in the hopper, somebody who would make a terrible soccer goalie. Time to vote. Next one, a rejected song from the musical Oklahoma. Vote now. Your next prompt is the wrong thing to say after farting in church. Get to voting. Next in line, a terrible reply to the text, you up. Okay, vote. Round two's done. Let's see who's winning now.
This is round three, the last lash. Everyone gets the same one single prompt this time. Write a quip using these word lash rules. Alright, brace yourselves. Choose who gets a medal now. Suspense is killing me. Let's see who got those medals. Bronze first. Bring out the silver. And finally gold. Medals are nice, but points are even nicer. So... We're done. Let's see the final scores. I'm Schmitty, and I don't know about you, but I feel like a game of Quiplash. I don't suppose one of you has a spare graphing calculator, do you? No? Oh well. I'll score the game by hand, I guess. This is round one. The more folks who choose your answer, the more points you get. Go! out of time. Use the safety quick button if you have to.
time to share. Starting us off, the three ingredients in a drink called the Chicago. Okay, select your favorite whip. crime in Mr. Rogers' neighborhood. It's voting time. Sign that you accidentally married a duck. Float away. <laughs> Next up, the official name for the Pope's underwear. Vote on your devices. Creative use for a corn cob. Time to vote. That's all for round one. Here's the scoreboard. Here comes round two. Hey, if you like round one but thought all the points should be doubled, have I got the round for you. Time for the big reveal. Number one on the list, why you're not allowed back at Jurassic Park. Okay, voting time. Pick your favorite. Next 
Mr. Mahopper. You know you got scammed when the puppy you bought at the pet store turns out to be blank. Okay, vote. Deck, the sound a black hole makes. Get to voting. Coming up next, you know you're going crazy when you hear the Rice Krispies say blank. It's voting time. On the list, the name of a really crappy robot. Vote now. That's all for round two. Let's see where the points went. <laughs> this is round three, the last lash. Everyone's taking aim at the same prompt this time. Finish the comic. And here's what you did. Give out your medals now. Let's see who earned those medals. Bronze. Here's the silver. And gold. Let's sell off those medals for points. And we're finished. Show me those final scores.
Welcome to Fakin' It. I'm Cookie, and due to contract obligations, I'll be your host tonight. Couple quick words before we jump into the game. And yes, you can skip it if you're in a rush. During each round of play, each of you is going to be sent a task to your device. Like, raise your hand if you've ever farted. But one of you will get nothing. And that person is the faker. Everyone wants to figure out who the faker is, and the faker just wants to blend in. When you hear the ghost sound, you either raise your hand or not, depending on whether you've ever farted before. Let's start by picking a category. Use your device to choose which type of tasks you'll all be subjected to. It's going to be... Number Pressure Everyone's going to get a task that involves holding up a number of fingers, probably from 1 to 10. Okay, sending the task to your devices now. Task, hold up as many fingers that your longest fart ever lasted in seconds. Vote for the faker now. You can change your vote if you change your mind, by the way. Singled out, the faker has been found. And what will our next task category be? Use your device to pick which type of task you'll all do together. Never mind, we'll just do this one. Hands of Truth. Everyone's gonna get a task that involves raising your hand. Okay, sending the task to your devices now. task was, raise your hand if you like to drink whiskey. Vote for who you think seems like the faker. Sharing your theories on who you think the faker is, is the best way to catch them. Everyone suspects that is indeed the faker. Okay, time to pick the next category. Use your device to choose which type of tasks you'll all be subjected to. Face value. Everyone's going to get a task that involves making some kind of facial expression. Maybe a weird one. Okay, sending the task to your devices now.
And the task was, make the face you have when you're reading The New Yorker. All right, vote for who you think the faker is. Don't forget you get points for voting for the faker, even if everyone else is wrong. Not enough teamwork to find the faker. You get two more chances to catch that faker. <laughs> Sending out your second face value task to your devices now. Trivia night, my way of testing society's refuse to make sure only the worthy survive. But in a T for teen kind of way, so don't freak out. I'm going to ask you a bunch of trivia questions. If you get a question wrong, you have to fight for your life in one of my super fun mini games. If you do badly in the mini game, I'll kill you. But don't worry, ghosts can still win the game. When one player is left alive, we'll go to the final round where the living and dead compete to see who can escape first. Oh, and anyone watching the game can join the audience. Why let your friends hog all the pain? But enough of all that. Let's play. Alright, first question. How did John Travolta pronounce Edina Menzel's name during the 2014 Oscars? Use your device to answer the question. Now. 
And the correct answer is... Who got it right? <laughs> Everyone is wrong. I have a surprise for you. Welcome to the killing floor. Let's play the finger cutting game. I used to call this one knifey pointy, but the name didn't test well with the focus group I kidnapped. Just choose one of your fingers to cut off. Could it be any easier? Chop. Drop. Cut him off with a big old chop. Reach. Thanks for the finger, food. <laughs> no, I'm kidding. I don't eat them. I know where they've been. Here's the early scores. These will change over time, probably. That's how scores work. Let's try another one. I'm having a good day, so just to be fair, here's an easy one. What do you call those tiny little wooden playing pieces that are shaped like people in the board game Carcassonne? said this. The rest of you, prepare for your punishment. Welcome back to the killing floor. We're going to play chalices. I've given each safe player a poison pellet. Pick a chalice to put your poison in. And it's your turn now. Pick a chalice to drink from. These aren't even my best chalices, so yeah, I'm a pretty cool guy. Ah! Ah! Yeah. Yummy, yummy. Now let's see what everyone drank. <sighs> Say what? No one drank any poison? Great, now I've got all this unused chalice poison just sitting here. Let's take another moment to appreciate this cool scoreboard, huh? Here's another one. Huh, I knew this when I was four. What's the optimal temperature for cremation? And the correct answer is... This one. The rest of you. Let's go someplace fun. Oh fun! A big pile of moolah! Here's how this is going to work. If no one takes the money, no one dies. But if you do take the money, I'll kill everyone who didn't. There's one catch. If you all take the money, then you all die! Talk amongst yourselves. Decisions, decisions. Why aren't you making any? Time for the reveal. Yes! It's good to see evil win. Aww. I'm gonna enjoy this. See, I wasn't joking when I said I'd kill you. I just totally killed you. But trivia is not just for those drawing breath. Keep playing and you might just rejoin the living. Even death doesn't get you out of trivia murder party. Let's try another one. Which breakfast grain variety does Chuck's not sell? Time to 
Starting out. <laughs> Who picked this one? <laughs> Everyone is wrong. I have a surprise for you. I'm going to ask you a question. Answer very carefully. What's the silliest word you can think of? Type an answer on your device and press send when you're finished. You don't need to write a dissertation, just hit send. Answering was not optional. You know, it really makes me angry when your refusal to participate reveals certain inherent flaws in my basic game design, so please, yeah, don't do that. Okay, let's take a short break. Now, I don't want to make this awkward, but I've been dabbling in making my own candles, and you know, if you want to purchase some, then... Ah, I made it awkward. Okay, forget it. Forget I said anything. Alright, next question. How many days are in the months March, April, and May combined? Let's test your memory. Everyone gets to play this time. Memorize the pattern. Okay, you've seen enough. From left to right, what was the order of the colors? Don't let those other players do better than you, okay? For real, it'll be bad. Did you Hey, remember this? How did you do? You got it exactly right. Ugh, let's see how your friends did. We'll get you next time. I've got more questions for you. Anthrocon is the world's largest convention for what? like you to make some art. I've got to use this drawing technology for some of the other games, right? Comfortable with your body. Draw this thing the best you can and press send when you're finished. Everyone gets to vote. I want you to pick the worst drawing. Pick the drawing that makes you go bad. Bad dog. Look at what you did. No. <laughs> the votes are in. Personally, I kind of like it, but the people have spoken. I 
think I'm going to bury that terrible drawing with you. Alright, next question. Who is credited with saying, three may keep a secret, if two of them are dead? And the correct answer is... this. <laughs> Everyone is wrong. Let's go someplace fun. I think it's time for some senseless violence. You can attack someone else. You can defend yourself. Or you can grab some money. And if no one gets hurt, I'll still punish someone. So make sure someone gets hurt. Make me proud out there. Yeah. I love to watch you squirm, but I also love it when you pick something. So let's get on with this. You did nothing. That just won't do. You can check out a full breakdown of my tiebreaker rules over on my website. Also, my charcoal sketches. They're, uh, pretty terrifying. The whittling down to just one player has finally come to fruition. Let's do this. Glad to see you've made it here alive. But can you escape with your body? I'm going to give you a category. LaCroix flavors. Tap on each answer that fits, then press submit. Just sit. Let's see the right answers. You move forward one space for every correct answer. You're getting real close to the exit. Oh, did I mention that all the other ghosts get to play too? If a ghost catches up to you, then they will steal your body. Then they can escape and win the game. Here's everyone's next question. And ghosts get a third choice to help them catch up to you. Time is almost up. are getting close now. Houses in Game of Thrones. Anytime today, kiddo. Are you afraid of the dark? You should be. Bed and Jerry's flavors. Time is almost up. Uh oh, that ghost is gonna get ya. Ivy League schools. Decisions, decisions. I get it, you did well. Now you're alive. What a crazy game, am I right? Phases of the moon. Almost up. Star Wars planets and dunes. Any 
time today, kiddo. I'm going to have to punish my players. Here's another one. American Girl Dolls. Decisions, decisions. Another life swap. Here's another one. Teenage Mutant Ninja Turtle characters. Hi! The party's downstairs. Come on in. I was helping someone load his van. A sequel with the entire original cast. I hope you all got points on the back end. If not, I'll puncture a few new ones for you. Okay now, first question. I played Operation so much as a kid, I still don't touch the sides when I cut people open. In the game of Operation, which object is located in the knee? The correct answer is... Who got the question right? <laughs> Everyone is wrong! Prepare for your punishment! Welcome to the killing floor! Oh look! There's a pile of money on the floor! Dollar dollar bills, y'all! Take as much money as you want, but take the most money or the least money, and you'll be sorry. Get grabby, y'all! If it's taking you this long, you don't have a strategy. Just pick a number. <laughs> Let's see how much money everybody shoved in their pockets. It's punishment time for the most and least greedy! I'm not really sure why the person who took the least amount needs to get punished. I guess it's just a game balancing thing? But hey, you don't need to hear me go on and on about that kind of stuff. You're... you're dead already? 
I'm a torturer. I like to drag things out. You guys ruined everything. Terrible tragedy. I wouldn't go snooping around that old abandoned high school if I were you. Roma ha Uh-oh, we're doing this again. I'll keep doing it until someone stops me. Okay now, first question. If you're a 13-year-old boy, you damn well better get this right. What turns a large portion of humanity into hideous flesh-eating zombies in the video game The Last of Us? And the correct answer is... Who got the question right? The rest of you, let's play a game. Welcome to the Kelly Floor. I want to play a dice game. I'll go first. Fourteen. Now I need an assistant. You'll do. In order to live, should they roll higher or lower? You can make it as hard or as easy as you want. Evil! Roll higher than me or you die. <laughs> yes! Oh, it feels so good! <laughs> Here's the early scores, and yeah, this is about what I expected. How about this? Get this. People in the 1800s used to get scared by poems. Poems! Ha! Babies! Who does the protagonist lament the loss of in Edgar Allan Poe's creepy poem, The Raven? <laughs> Who said... This one. The rest of you who are still alive, let's play a game. Welcome back to the killing floor. Well, I hope you know how to spell. Use letters to spell the longest word you can before time runs out. It'll be good to get your fingerprints on some of these letters too. I'm going to hurt the person with the shortest word. Do it now. The letters don't have to touch each other, and remember to press submit when you're done. Ah! You're almost out of time! Ooh, let's see what you did there! Uh-oh! Ah! Here's how all the scores are looking. Next question. Which of the following is not one of the mutated food enemies in the video game Burger Time? One? Come with me. Let's multiply the fun and do some basic math questions. Answer as many math questions as you can before time runs out. The person who does the worst dies. Math time! Let's go! Come on, you can do this! Map! 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 Well, 
We're almost done. Life is pain. I hope you haunted elementary school, so maybe you can learn something. Whittled down to one already? Crap. This was faster than I expected. Okay, don't freak out. You can do this. You just have to stall a bit. Alright then. If you can survive two more questions, everyone goes to the final round. Let's try this again. Which of the following cocktails is not made with whiskey? <laughs> Who picked this? You're in for a treat. What a mess. This piece of art has blood all over it. I hope you're a splatter expert. Memorize the pattern of blood. Okay, you've had long enough. Reproduce the pattern on your device by tapping on all the spaces that were red. Then press submit when you're done. If your pattern is different than mine, I will kill you. Stop admiring your work and turn it in already. Ah! Here's that arch again, and here's what you did. Nice work. Next time try beating some actual people. Scoreboard time is a good time to relax, let the tensions of the game drift away, and just reconnect with who we are as people. What I'm trying to say is... Enjoy this time! I've got more questions for you. What is the name of the flamboyant TV show host in the Hunger Games novels? <laughs> and the correct answer is... This. Only a ghost got it wrong. Hmm, too easy. It wasn't easy making it here alive, and it won't be easy to escape with your body. Here's your first category. Boy Scout ranks. Tap on each answer that fits, then press submit. Anytime today, kiddo. Let's see the right answers. A space for every right answer. Red wine. Decisions, decisions. Here's another one. Songs on Sergeant Pepper's Lonely Hearts Club Band. Time is almost up. Can you stay out of the shadows? States that border Tennessee. Anytime today, kiddo. Just a few 
few more steps. Countries that border China. Time is almost up. Almost there! 